Hi, I'm Jason Reed. Have you ever had to pitch a project, an idea, or even yourself? Well, you probably know that it's not only challenging, but also nerve-wracking. Sometimes pitching is part of a formal presentation, and other times you just find yourself in front of a decision maker, and all of a sudden, you have to come up with a clear, short, and powerful explanation of what it is you're trying to sell them on. Now, I made my first pitch back when I was 20 years old. I won a screenwriting competition in Hollywood, and I suddenly got myself an agent and interest from production companies. My agent then booked me a pitch meeting with a big Hollywood producer, and I was told I'd only have two minutes. Now, I was pitching a complicated two-hour feature film, so getting it down under two minutes was tough. I decided to sit down and write a flowery two-minute summary of my screenplay, and it was perfect. The language was lush and gorgeous, and I memorized it word for word. A few days later, I'm actually there in the producer's office doing the pitch. His assistant pulls out a stopwatch and says, okay, you've got 30 seconds, go, click. 30 seconds? 30 seconds? I was told two minutes. I have my pitch memorized word for word. There's no way I can share it in 30 seconds. I realize I'd have to start from scratch. So I closed my eyes and I found myself saying, my screenplay is called Kiss of the Anchor Woman. It's a comedy. It's a cross between broadcast news and The Graduate. A young news writer is seduced by an anchor woman whose husband happens to own the TV station. Boom, I had done it, under 30 seconds, and the producer loved it. But it could have been a disaster. So let's look at what made this pitch actually work. So number one, it was in point form. Always construct your pitch in point form. Why? Because you never know how long you're going to have. Now number two, when you're coming up with your points, include only the most crucial information that your audience needs to know to make their next decision. And finally, the third key point is this. Keep your pitch conversational. That means you want to internalize, not memorize. To be authentic, you must use the sorts of words you would use in ordinary conversation. So in short, don't write your pitch. Speak it based on the key points you identified and practice it over and over and over again. And that is how you can pitch your next project or idea like a real pro.